Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Today, oh my goodness, we have got the new UNSC Marine Gear Pack. But I think you know from the title of this video that one is simply not enough. I mean, this thing is epic. I had to get hold of two and I'm gonna rip into these build all the different possible armor variants. Let's get on with the show. So this video was brought to you by the Mega Constructs Domain, our Facebook group, which is just popping right now. We just launched the second episode of our Domain Community Spotlight. It did really well, such an amazing amount of support, and you can join there right now to win new Halo Infinite blind bags. Whoa, no. <laughs> Oh no, that did not come off well. I respect Mega Constructs for using cheaper cardboard packaging. I mean, it probably saves the environment somewhere along the way. But we'll try and get this off as cleanly as possible. I had the exact same problem with the Spartan Armory Pack too. I'll just jump straight into the figure that, honestly, it's funny in this set, that I was most excited about the Elite. These Marines are obviously epic, but look at this Elite. My goodness me. It is gorgeous. I love the Elites with this new metallic color scheme that they've been going for, and it matches perfectly perfectly with the Elite from the Halo Infinite Series 1 blind bags. Look at that, they're br oh no, I was about to say they're brothers in arms and then he lost his arm. That's ironic. They both follow the same kind of scheme where their necks are shown and the rest is just like a black body jumpsuit. They both come with swords, except the one in the infinite blind bag, it has this sort of glassed sword effect, so every sword is different. I guess this one just comes with a plain light blue sword, but that is fine by me. And not only does he come with this sick energy sword, he also comes with the Halo Reach Plasma Launcher, which is a weapon that I feel like we've not seen for a long time. I thought, looking at the packaging, that it would exactly match his armor, and I guess it's not exact, but it still looks epic. That's an awesome figure. And you know, when the first leaks came out of all of 2020's Halo Infinite sets, I was honestly most excited about this Marine Pack, which I know is crazy. There were so many epic sets, but this one I just saw the most potential, and also the most generosity. I mean, the stuff you get with this is wild for the price. Absolutely wild. You compare this to any old armory pack or any old sort of customizer pack, you barely got anything. This one, you get more weapons and accessories than you can practically use. Let's tear into each of these bags. Let's just spill it all out. When I did the Spartan one, I took my time with each bag. Let's just spill them all out. We got two of these to open. <laughs> and a huge thanks to Bam Bam Productions on YouTube. He was the one that actually scored me these two packs. He is an epic guy, and I really do thank him so much for that. What on earth is all this? Whoa, we've got a lot to unpackage here. Wow. Okay, so I guess first of all, we've got the radio backpack. This has been floating around in Halo since, I guess, the countdown set, maybe even earlier. I've always been a huge fan of it, and we got one more today. Let's take a look at the head. Come on, come on. This will physically not come out. This is ridiculous. Come on. Oh God, no, oh, okay. This marine head is fused into the helmet and in trying to get it out, I just pulled its ponytail straight off. Okay, well, that's not exactly what I was looking for. Yeah, it is what it is. Then we've got this guy. Let's see it, okay, well, okay. <laughs> that came straight off. All right, we've got this marine here. He's, uh, he's got a nice goatee, so he looks pretty cool. Muzzle flares and plasma grenades. Oh, right, you actually get four plasma grenades. That is very generous, actually. Charged, ready to blow, and two standard ones. No paint apps, but that is A-OK. -okay. Is this a bayonet? Wow, yeah, bayonet, look at that. All right, so we got two muzzle flares, pop them together. Ammo crate, always nice to have. Display stands, a battle rifle, knife, SMG, sidekick pistol, two more helmets in silver, which is awesome. And then this pilot helmet, really nice. And then we've got three chest pieces. I guess we've got four shoulders for these. Then we've got these four leg straps and then all of these teeny tiny accessories and another backpack. Okay, so that is the first Marine customizer pack we've got today. I'm gonna start with one of these Halo Infinite blind bag Marines. Immediately, it's nice to see that we actually get shoulder pieces with the Marine gear pack when you don't with the actual Infinite blind bags. He looks pretty bare. The Pelican helmet there, that's really cool. I love those sort of goggles. Shoulders for him, leg straps. I like that a lot. I guess no room for a muzzle flare then, but we do have space for one of these. 
slide that on really nicely and it, do, it is really cool that you can customize your weapons you know that is a really epic feature and this marine looks awesome he's a real badass much better than the halo infinite blind bag marine i guess we can silence the smg this little brown one another one there he is fully kitted out ready to take on the banished <laughs> I think the Banished should be scared when you look at that guy, goodness me, he's like a juggernaut. This is really cool, um, I actually, I actually love this marine, this is one of my favourites. So we got three of them here, and then we've got all of these silver armoury pieces. So we need to pop open the next Spartan armoury pack to accessorise with the silver. Slap that down. Let's see if we can get, oh, <laughs> I was about to say let's see if we can get a better tear on. We definitely can't. That was... Oh, no. This one's even worse. Come on, boys. Corps are calling. Gotta get to war. No time to waste hiding in some packaging. This one is awful. Look at this. This is, this is terrible. I don't even know what kind of glue's holding that together. Let's dump this out. Oh, no. Elite. Your sword. Don't worry, buddy. I'll get it for you. Sangheili brothers. They just look epic. Oh, man. So cool. One more marine gear pack. And yeah, guys, it is uh, the time in the video to <laughs> apologize for my lack of uploads right now. Uh, I just got so much hectic stuff going on in my life. Last week, we got quite a few videos out, including a new travel box, which you, you should definitely check out. And now I'm just going to hit hard with a load more reviews. I'm going to build the sword real soon. Get another travel box done. Done. I've got a really cool video, a collab with Toa of Ultimate Doom. I don't even know where I'm going to store all these little bits. We've got another four plasma grenades, another bayonet, loads of stuff. Oh, you've got... Okay, okay. I was going to say... I, I was going to say that would be ridiculous if her head didn't come off for a second time. But there we go. That's a really nice mold when the helmet decides to come off. Get one bare body and another chest plate. These are very interesting ones. It only goes halfway over the backside, which is pretty cool. Should we pop the man on the women's body? Wouldn't that be a revolutionary? I think they are the exact same helmet. They do look the same. And then we'll get all these shoulders on. Please do let me know what you think of the marine gear pack. It does seem like a very difficult set to get your hands on. I know it's mostly just in Canada right now. This is cool that they have very different shoulder pads. I'm a big fan of that and they look like a really epic team together. Yeah, the radio pack is definitely made for the white figure Wow, that just bulks her out so much and then we'll give her the SMG and just to get all these muzzle flares as well My dioramas are about to go to a whole new level and I have been definitely hearing the uproar that you want more dioramas I'm working on it. I've currently got one of the mega construct builder boxes on the way to the house So once I get that I'll be able to build more dioramas basically. I just don't have the capacity to build them right now. I don't have any of my stuff in Hong Kong. Battle rifle and the SMG both with muzzle flares. I don't think anything that is included in mega constructs should be considered canon for the Halo game. Like any of these random accessories, like I wouldn't look at a flashbang in this and think that there were flashbangs in Halo Infinite. It's also cool that we get slightly different leg pads and they, oh man, this all just really bulks the figure out. We can give these white ones here to match perfectly. They look so cool. Oh man. I was pretty skeptical about Mega Constructs revamping the Marines to begin with. I just didn't really think it was a necessary thing. I thought they were already awesome. But looking at them now, seeing all these accessories, Accessories. I knew that once I got this marine gear pack I would sort of change my mind because this marine gear pack is literally made to show off the accessories and the customization that you can do with these new marines which is so much so much all right we've got one two three four marines Let's give this one the knife and the sidekick pistol. And I could not be happier with these guys and these elites as well. Goodness me. That is a lot of bang for your buck, as they say. That's a lot of value. It's such a cheap set and you get all these things. And it's not even about the figures. You get the figures and then you've got all of this to use in the future. Look at all that. Like, what, what, what on earth? That's so much stuff. I am so impressed with this. Some organization later, and wow, I've got everything laid out, all of the accessories on show. For two marine customizer packs, and I'll have a full review of just one out probably tomorrow or the day after, as well as the Spartan Armory pack. When you get two of these packs, you are treated to so many accessories. Granted, I have added an extra infinite marine into this, but aside from that, you get so much. Look at this crate, which which is just overflowing with shoulders. Like, it can't hold them all. 
Then we've got this crate with all these plasma grenades. It's ridiculous. We've got six more helmets, these chests, and I even glossed over these new backpacks. I didn't even see them when I first started this opening. These are brand new backpacks. You get one per set and they will just slide really nicely onto the Marines. They're a little strange in design, a little bit weird. They have a gap here, which I'm not an amazing fan of. When I'm talking about value for money, it's, it's very difficult to compare this to almost any other set. It's just so epic. If you just had these Marines as a Marine gear pack, they would sell as well. But Mega Constructs, again, they've just been leading the charge in 2020 about value for money, and you get this extra epic, glossed over sort of like metallic red elite, which I was the most excited about. And in hand, he is as gorgeous as the promotional material. This was another video with The Domain, guys. I hope you enjoyed this opening and the review that will come out soon. If you want to check out my opening of the Spartan Armory Pack, I'll leave that at the end of this video. You stay awesome. Head over to the Mega Constructs Domain and discuss this epic pack. And the Marine, I'll do the, I'll do the badass Juggernaut Marine pack. Like, look at this guy. This is not a Marine. This is a beefed up Spartan trainee. Like, this is epic and he's signing off with his bayoneted battle rifle <laughs>